Should you buy Watch Dogs 2 in 2022? Watch Dogs 2 went in a completely new direction after Watch Dogs 1 got critically slaughtered and the general consensus was that Watch Dogs 1 was not the game that was advertised and was just your average typical Ubisoft game with a little bit of paint. Over the years I've seen Watch Dogs gain a bit of support from players but by then it was just too late. Ubisoft moved on to Watch Dogs 2 which was received fairly well but then Watch Dogs Legion came out and wow that game is just shockingly bad. Watch Dogs 2 however ditched pretty much everything from the original to target a new audience audience, a younger audience with a less grounded tone. So is Watch Dogs 2 worth playing right now in 2022? Let's start with the story with no spoilers and if you do enjoy the video smash that like button and maybe even subscribe. Watch Dogs 2 follows a new protagonist with a new group of characters connected to DedSec. Let's get this out of the way first. The writing of Watch Dogs 2 is incredibly cringy. It tries way too hard to appeal to a specific audience and that's shown through the characters. It's the classic one note character trope. Every character you meet has one specific character trait and that's it. They just ram it down your throat for the most part. The exception is Marcus though. Marcus is actually a fairly interesting character when it comes to his motivations. His hatred for CTOS is actually quite easy to get invested into. CTOS OS is basically something that predicts the futures of people and the crimes they could commit based on their background, so naturally everyone would hate that idea. Other than that though, the story is a mess. It struggles to focus on specific themes and feels closer to Marvel shows rather than the original Watch Dogs, which was a much more grounded and um, uh, mature take on things, if, if you could say that. They didn't nail it, but you know, it got close enough. DedSec is completely wasted and it feels like it was completely retconned from the original. In the original Watch Dogs, DedSec felt like a threat more powerful than anything you could imagine and meant serious business. If you've ever watched Mr. Robot, they felt like the embodiment of White Rose, but here they're turned into a complete joke created by a group of people that don't seem to be serious about anything. It's all about having a laugh. At first I was okay with the new direction, everyone likes a bit of fun. In fact, it even made sense after Watch Dogs 1 was so heavily criticised, but once the story picks up and characters start dying, nothing changes. These characters continue to make jokes, no one's changed or affected by their actions or actions of others, so it just lost me. There was no consequence to anything. Why should I get invested into a story where the characters themselves don't get invested? It's the worst part of Watch Dogs 2, which sucks. The franchise had so much potential, but it just... It just seems like Ubisoft squandered it again with another IP. It doesn't it just doesn't seem to stop with Ubisoft. It's not all bad though. I think the general idea of a group of young people standing up to big tech is weirdly appropriate to the times we're living in, but it it just wasn't done with any kind of subtlety or depth. There was nothing to it. I think a great idea would have been to have like Marcus working inside one of these big companies and learning how it all works, how corrupt it is, etc, etc, and forming his own group that eventually gets put into DedSec and working from there. And, you know, instead of taking the easy route of, oh, yep, he's part of DedSec, these companies are soulless pricks, they're, you know, everyone working in them are pieces of shit. There, there could have been a bit more subtlety to it, there could have been different sides to it, morality, why this CTOS system needs to be put in place, why it's useful, the positives of it, and then bring in the negatives and things like that, but they didn't bother. Either way, the story of Watch Dogs 2 could have been way better, but what we got is serviceable, but that's about it. It's not special, but what is surprisingly special is the gameplay. It's weird because I didn't like Watch Dogs 2 last year when I played it, but this year I found myself enjoying it a hell of a lot more. Watch Dogs 2 actually innovates on pretty much everything the original Watch Dogs did when it comes to gameplay. You can hack more stuff, you can interact with more people, and you can mess around with the environment for more creative opportunities than you could in the original Watch Dogs. Yes, it's still limited, but you still have more options than you did in the original. Combat is a mix of gunplay and hacking opportunities. It's like a permanent third-person Deus Ex type game where just shooting mechanics aren't enough. And speaking of shooting mechanics, the shooting is ass. Gunplay in general feels really rough. Ubisoft are never great when it comes to gunplay unless it's like the Far Cry series, so I'm not surprised here. Weapons feel and sound really crap, they sound like pea shooters and they feel like pea shooters, but it's clear Ubisoft wanted players to primarily to focus on the stun gun and playing through Watch Dogs 2 as non-lethally as possible, which I get, it makes sense for the story. But that doesn't excuse the piss poor gunplay here. Watch Dogs 2 is another cover shooter, so you hop in cover and you shoot your gun or hack and then you leave the cover, that's the combat of Watch Dogs 2. The great stuff is the hacking, which you can actually pull off some really cool stuff with. I had so much fun just exploring the world of Watch Dogs and just calling random hits on people, causing all, all that chaos without having to shoot a single bullet, which was awesome. I don't think any game out there can provide that kind of experience, and this is a Ubisoft game. I had to do a double take to make sure this is actually a Ubisoft game because I couldn't actually get creative with the gameplay mechanics. It was weird. 
The thing that sells the gameplay is how creative you can actually get this time around. An enemy behind cover is not an issue, you can just hack the car to get them out of cover or run them over, it's great. A building is too high, hop in a truck, drive it over to where you need to be, jump on the truck, get on top of the building and bang you there. It's Assassin's Creed without the climbing a lot of the time. The cooler aspects of the original has been downgraded though, like the blackout system. In the original you could use a massive blackout across the city, which it would just knock out the entire city. It was great to do, it felt awesome. But here in Watch Dogs 2 it's like 3 or 4 blocks and it's really underwhelming. I don't know why they changed that. All they've got to do is just, you know, make everything dark. But you know, that's just me. Some of the cooler hacks are a little less impactful, like the traffic light hacks and the pipe explosion hacks, mainly because we've seen and played it before, so it doesn't really have the same well factor the original could pull, pull off, you know? But you still have a lot of options, which, you know, in my opinion, is just a positive. It could have been even worse than the first game, but it wasn't, which is good. Stealth is significantly better though, you can't just equip a suppressor and just one tap everyone here which is a massive improvement on pretty much any Ubisoft game ever. Enemies will react pretty much as soon as you shoot your first bullet if they see you and call for backup pretty much instantly so you do have to pick your targets and use specific weapons like the taser to truly stay undetected. It can feel a little cheap at times because the AI seems hypersensitive but I'd rather it be more difficult than super easy. AI can be pretty dumb in shootouts though, they do have a habit of just charging you and hoping for the best which is unfortunate but you know this is a Ubisoft game, the fact that I've praised it as much as, the, as I have it's kind of insane. <laughs> Driving has been improved significantly as well, it's not amazing, it's not amazing but it's a lot better than the original Watch Dogs, it's not GTA 4 or GTA 5 levels of fun, GTA 4 was a, like more physics but like more over the top but you could enjoy it and GA. GTA 5 is just smoother. Watch Dogs 2 is neither, it's kind of just in the middle, it's a bit boring but it's better and they actually feel like cars and bikes this time around rather than just fucking trucks every time. The world is more interesting as well to explore this time around, it has more variety in visuals compared to Chicago of the original and has far more interactability which is great to say because usually Ubisoft fails in this aspect but here it's pretty good. This is, this is what surprises me why I didn't like it the first time around. I think I was just burnt out on Ubisoft games and went in a little bit biased to be honest with you because I really enjoyed it this time around. The story is not great but the gameplay itself is probably the best gameplay Ubisoft have made since like Splinter Cell. And I'm being honest with you because there's, you've got so much variety, there's so many things that aren't bad for once. That Most of it is average but there are some standout bits like the hacking that is actually good. Sure, there's room for improvement, but it's just a good game, which really surprised me. So with all the negatives and improvements on the original Watch Dogs, is Watch Dogs 2 actually worth buying in 2022? I've praised it a lot, I've said a lot of good things, I've said some bad things, but yeah, I do think it is worth buying if you are after an experience unlike most open world games. Are there better games out there? Sure, absolutely, we're talking about a Ubisoft game here, but this is one of the better Ubisoft games out there today. I'd say buy it for like maximum of 15 pounds or 20 dollars these days it's usually really cheap plus it's on xbox game pass so you can go play it there on pc i don't know if it's on xbox itself but it's there on pc so yeah just keep an eye out for that and it is worth playing give it a shot guys what's the worst that could happen you lose an hour or two of your life and you don't like it just uninstall it especially if you're on game pass you know or refund it thank you for watching and keep it classic